thus says the Lord, to the churches of men, and to all their self-appointed apostles, prophets, and teachers. Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 7 July 16, 2009 From God the Father A letter given to Timothy for all those who have ears to hear. Timothy, you have asked, and so I shall surely answer you, even according to these perverse doctrines that do continually come up before me amongst all these churches of men, whose doctrines I hate, taking the things of God in hand to be put forth before the multitude as their own. Oh, the vanity and pride of men who continually seek after their own glory, led about by the evil one, as one with a hook in his mouth saying within themselves, Look at all I have done. See how I have come to speak for the Most High. See how I have become like him. You prophets shall be brought down to death, and your destruction shall come swiftly upon your own head, when the Lord comes in his judgment to strip you naked and bear you under the weight of your fallen riches. I shall strike you down, and you shall collapse in a heap, even as that which you have built with my money collapses upon you. Shall a prophet seek after my voice to gain it through the knowledge of men? Can the gifts of my own spirit be attained by human power? You have prophesied lies, lies in my own name, having taken and stolen my glory, a parading around as though you were sent by God. I have not sent you. And I, even I, have beheld your form, your image, your fine clothes, all your luxuriously crafted apparel and ornaments of which you surround yourself, even all your delusions of grandeur leading my people by false divinations, brought forth from the perverse heart of man, built up by those in the churches. You trust in deceptive words to no avail. Your portraits shall be broken and gather rust. Your church buildings shall be thrown down and swept away. Even your clothes shall be taken, and you shall all be left naked and desolate in the day of the Lord's wrath. Hear me now, all peoples who call of themselves by my own name, the name of my Son. No prophet sent of the Lord shall by any means accept money for my word. For those who do such a thing, even of you pastors and teachers, it shall be required of you in the day. Shall you take profit by the power of my word? Yes, there is profit in it, according to the wealth of grace and salvation, which abounds in love, granting an abundance of eternal wealth and life in my presence, my joy. Therefore, those truly sent and appointed by me shall be provided for, and these wait upon the Lord, and also go wheresoever I send them, taking nothing with them, for the Lord himself, even the Son, is their shepherd. Hear also, my people, who are not my people. You are your own, having recreated me and my Son in your own image, even in the image of the world. Desecration! No prophet of God shall forsake my law or my commandments. They keep them, even to uphold them, in word and in deed accounting them a joy, even in pure obedience in love, my image, the Son, shown in them and through them, for he is the perfect reflection of the Father. Let it be stated, even set forth this day in the hearing of the people, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. For it shall be done and come to pass as I have spoken it, even as I proclaim it now. No man in authority, whether a self-appointed apostle, prophet, teacher, pastor, preacher, minister, or priest, as they are called amongst themselves, who also forsake my law in the name of my Son, to make him the author of sin, whereby they dwell gladly in lawlessness, shall escape the day of the Lord. For the saints of the Most High are those who keep my commandments and remember my Sabbaths, and carry Christ within them, even unto pure testimony, in his name, in love. Therefore again I tell you, no leader 
amongst the churches who forsake the Sabbath, even the seventh day of which I had by myself sanctified from the beginning, shall escape the day of the Lord. Refinement shall be their companion. No leader amongst the churches who embraces all these modern holidays of men, of which I hate, shall by any means escape the day of the Lord's fury. Remember my holy days. In them shall you begin to know the mind of God and the glory of his Christ. And no leader amongst the churches who teaches the doctrine of hell and eternal torment shall by any means be gathered. Neither shall any who embrace this teaching escape, for I do not know them, neither do I abide in them. And not one who comes speaking against this word and my prophets to stone them in word and deed, to slander, to spit upon them, to strike at them, even to bring one railing accusation against them, whether it be in open or in secret, shall escape the day of the Lord, except by martyrdom brought forth after their repentance from a sincere and remorseful heart for all they had done against God by assaulting his prophets. Neither age nor gender shall deliver them, for the Lord your God is no respecter of persons. I know your hearts. As I am, says the Lord, so I shall be. And as I have always done, so shall I perform it again amongst you. Yes, even among this modern and perverse generation. Except you call on the name of the Son, in repentance and in truth, with sincere remorse, a broken vessel atop this same stone, which is called Wonderful, Counselor, and Mighty God, even your everlasting Father, you will, by no means, escape. Repent! Run to your Savior! And flee all these churches of men and their self-appointed apostles, prophets, and teachers. Run to Yeshua! whom you call Christ and Jesus, for he alone is your hope and your shield, your only escape. By him shall you come into glory, abiding in the Father's joy. For the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of his Son alone is understanding. Abide in him only, and you have me also. Abide in the world, and you shall also reap the world's reward. Judgment, punishment, the day of the Lord. I will be glorified. My name only shall resound in all the earth. I am come.